Well, reaction has been mixed to the recent hike in the province's minimum wage to $14 an hour. While some are rejoicing that the changes, some businesses are under fire for penalizing staff to compensate for the higher pay. CTV's Heather Centerin has more from Waterloo. Here at Bauer Bakery and Cafe, employee morale is key. If you can treat your employees well and treat your employees right, they'll do a better job. Now that minimum wage has gone up, small businesses like Bauer had to hike their prices. In 2017, a large cup of joe here at the Bowery Bakery Cafe would cost you $2.25, but now that price has gone up 40 cents to $2.65. A small price to pay to help out these baristas, who are all students. Students, just one of the groups benefiting from the extra cash. An extra couple of bucks helps, especially on a student budget. So, you mean you take what you can get. But not everyone is pleased with the changes. Many Tim Hortons employees have been lashing out against the fast food giant. A viewer shared this photo, allegedly taken in the break room of a Tim Hortons on University Avenue. It notifies employees of the removal of certain perks, like paid breaks and free uniforms. We reached out to that location for comment. The supervisor on duty tells CTV she wasn't aware of the sign. After other locations in Ontario allegedly came under fire earlier this week, the Tim Hortons restaurant chain says it's not in line with its values, saying in part, Tim Hortons team members should never be used to further an agenda or be treated as just an expense. This is completely unacceptable. I already try not to go to companies like Tim Hortons anymore. I think it's best to support companies like local that don't do these bad practices. We think this is deplorable. The Waterloo Regional Labour Council is encouraging those faced with adversity in the workplace to come forward, pointing the finger at businesses who are taking it out on their staff. The thing that I find really disturbing is every business has the same playing field. It's not like one business got singled out. Employers are able to cope with it. It's you're not a good business person if you can't cope with it. That's the problem, right? The Waterloo Regional Labour Council says if you feel your rights are being violated due to the minimum wage changes, you can contact them and they'll guide you through filing a complaint with the Ministry of Labour. Heather Centerin, CTV News, Waterloo. And in